My name's Tom Portsmouth. I'm 18 and I cycle and next year I'm riding in Belgium, the Barna cycling team. Tom started cycling probably when he was about two, but he actually only got into cycling when he was about 11, 12. I took him to one session and he loved it. My first memory of cycling probably goes back years. Um, I've been cycling right from the start, just recreationally. Uh, I, my first race I remember was in 2012, just down the road in Aldershot. But I remember various points along that journey, stabilizers coming off, everything like that, uh, clipping in for the first time on the road bike and falling off on the grass, and yeah, just all the way down that journey. Most of our children were about 10 or 11. Tom was slightly younger, but you get two distinct differences. They're, they're either come down and, and ride a bike, or you can say, okay, that rider knows how to, to handle a bike, has natural ability, knows and understands how balance and coordination works and how to get the best out of it on the bike, so he had that natural ability. I first noticed that I could do something with the sport, maybe around 2014 when, when I was kind of winning races without much training and uh, local races with some high quality people who I knew were training, so I knew I had some sort of a knack for it, so um, yeah, I wanted to do something, so I asked all the coaches what, what would your advice be going forward? And they said around 14, that's where you want to focus all your energy on that one sport rather than various different sports. Train Shark, we are a performance cycling coaching company. We're here about kind of working with all sorts of athletes from all sorts of levels, from all different backgrounds, from all over the world so we get a really good client base of different types of athletes so that's what we're all about kind of high performance pro cycling from your yeah, amateur to elite you know for people that want to get fit to people that want to win the Tour de France almost. So here today with Tom we like to get him in about three times a year for a full performance assessment so we get to see and assess how his winter has gone kind of any changes from the last time he's tested. So we kind of look at three key physiological markers. We look at LT1 and LT2. So for the cyclist, this is kind of like your all day endurance pace, your kind of functional threshold power because we use a kind of a blood metabolic marker. And then we assess his maximum aerobic power and his VO2 max. So it gives us a full insight onto where his training's kind of changed. We get a good assessment of where his zones currently are. It means we can make any sort of changes that we need to with his training. That's it, really good stuff. I'm going to keep driving nice and focused all the way to the line here, Tom. That's it, so it's a good effort. The, the coaches are amazing. They've helped me every step of the way. They've been supportive right from the beginning. I think the first test, I, I kind of impressed them a little bit, and it's just continued on from there. I went to train shop in my second year of being coached as a rider. So as I said before, it was me just on my own, not really doing much training. Then I went for a year with kind of an amateur coach and then with the professional train shop setting. And uh, yeah, it couldn't have been a better decision really. Up, 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 up. 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 The last three years have been constantly on the rise and I wouldn't be where I am without them right now. I've been working for Tom for about two, two and a half years now. And we use our assessments to get a good gauge in terms of performance. So with Tom, we had a key threshold last year for his maximum aerobic power. So that's his peak 60 second power in his VO2 max test. So we use a 25 watt ramp increase. So we start about 200 watts for Tom. We go up 25 watts every minute until basically he can't go anymore. So for Tom last year, we had a mark of about 500 watts. So around last April, we hit that, about 500 watts. Whereas this time around, considering we've not had much race intensity and we've not really been working on that area of this winter because that's not been our focus, Tom actually hit 510 watts today. So in terms of the numbers, it's a really good step in the right direction because we've already hit that target that we need to do. It's a tough sport and you have to be very dedicated and uh, focused on what you do. He's got a talent, Tom, for sure. Um, I say he's coming on very well from a junior. I think he's uh, going to go all the way. I go to St George's College in Weybridge. The facilities have kind of grown and grown as I've been there with the new activity centre as well. 
I can bring my training from outside of school, which I would previously do at an external gym, I can now do at school and it just saves time, energy. As I've gone through the school, I've done different sports as well, so it's helped me gain a knowledge of why the sports and how to use my body in different situations, which all translates to cycling as well. Everyone helps me around me and it's a very supportive system. The school helps, they understand the situation I'm in. Tom is a fantastic individual. Um, he's one of my prefects in the sixth form and he's someone who always gives of his best, no matter what it is. It might, of course, on a bike, but also in the classroom, around school. He's someone that you can always depend on. I think Tom's personality is perfect for what he wants to do because he's someone who is utterly determined. He sees everything as a challenge, not a difficulty, and he always wants to overcome it. But at the same time, he is a team player. He's someone, he's got great friends, he's got amazing friendship groups across the year group, those that are sporty and those that aren't. And I think he's used to working with people um, to achieve his best. And yeah, he's someone who I think combines that single-mindedness that you undoubtedly need in professional sport, but also um, that real care for others and compassion, which will make him a really good human being. The team in Belgium, Urbana Cycling Team, they're, they're based just the other side of Brussels. They kind of messaged me on social media after one of my best performances of the season, which came in France in, in a race called Ronde de Valley. I look for a team or a, a manager that wants me as a potential rider and who's excited to have me, not, not just for a rider, but because they really want me and they, they will help me and support me because they know what I can do and that's what I really like from someone. When they can see potential that might not be there right now but can go in the future. I'm super proud of Tom. I'm really, really proud of him because I think, especially in a sport that isn't a normal school sport, you know, he doesn't have lots of friends doing the same thing. He's had to be, in lots of ways, doing it on his own. And I think that's quite hard when you're a teenager. Um, but Tom is someone who he has a fantastic family behind him, undoubtedly. But he also is someone who is single-minded. He's keen to do well. Um, and he knows that he has to put lots of extra work in as well as his schoolwork and balance it all. Super bad. <laughs>I don't think you could be anything other than that. And it's only now that you can see that he actually has that potential. He really, there's nothing stopping him, nothing, unless he, unless something happens. And we just have to hope that he can have the luck that goes with that. I want to have a professional contract, hopefully within the next two years before the decision of going to university or not, so that's, that's kind of the driving force behind that, but the end goal is World Tour and the highest level of cycling. I have my eyes on, on the World Championships, the, the stripes are iconic within the sport. I'm never going to win the Tour de France, I'm too big, um, so the, the World Champs are something that's realistically possible if I, if I get to the top of the sport. But the short term targets are national champs as well. I want to have a crack at those time trials, road racing, especially before I start developing and um, specifically targeting different disciplines within road cycling.